first of all, I'd like to thank some uh, people. Uh, I'm going to go with Georgina last. Uh, <laughs> uh, Christopher Benedict. He uh, is a writer and uh, a good friend. And uh, uh, one of my best friends, I'll tell you. He, and and uh, I'm so, I thank God for him. He's here tonight. You want to take stand up a little bit, Chris? <laughs> Uh, I would like to thank Cassie and her husband. I met him for the first time. Stand up. I'd like everybody to stand up. Uh, Tiani, I used to go here. She had to leave right there. Um, uh, Melissa Smith, who's a writer uh, extraordinaire and uh, a good friend of mine also. Can you stand up, <laughs> Melissa? Sophia and her daughter is here. Can you stand up, uh, Sophia? They're yeah, good friends of mine. Very good friends of mine. Um, D, uh, Ty. Ty is a, a, an artist. And he, uh, we wear his t-shirt. He sells t-shirts and makes t-shirts and drawers. He's an artist. So, do uh, you want to stand up, Ty? <laughs> If I've forgotten anybody, you have to... Oh, wait a minute, there's uh, <laughs> um, Ryan, the cameraman. <laughs> he came all the way from Tennessee <laughs> to be here today. And, uh, Carla, Carla, uh, the camera lady. <laughs> like to thank, or I like to, oh, now let me explain about Georgina. <laughs> Georgina, if you look at the film, she had to travel from here to there, all over the, all over the country, and back and forth from her country here. Uh, and uh, when I, I would make jokes and, and different things, she is serious. I've never met anybody as serious as <laughs> Yeah, you don't play with Georgina. You know, it, it was a serious thing, and, and, and this is, I, I was in tears watching this. Did you notice how old we got? Damn! <laughs> oh my goodness! We're old as hell! <laughs> I, I, I couldn't, I, I, I really, I was really, I said, when I looked at that, and I, all, all of us from when we were boxing, when we were younger, I said, damn, look at us now! I, I'm going to tell you, don't get old! <laughs> I'm going to change that, because if you gotta, if you got to live, you got to get old. So, I want you to live. I want you to live a quality life. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, I want to thank Georgina and all the and you you too. <laughs> I didn't do much. I didn't do much. <laughs> and all the and all the uh, people that made this possible. Um. Okay, I know you have questions for me. Thank you. <coughs> My home attendant. My home health aide, Carmen. We just celebrated her birthday today. Uh, and she's from the Dominican Republic. She speaks Spanish and English fluently. And she's a, a very, very nice person. She's always on time. And she, just, and she has two kids. <laughs> you know, and she's she, she's just an overall good person, and she's been with me for seven years. I wouldn't li I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I forgot to mention her. <laughs> well, Marion, I do have some questions for you too before we get to the audience. Um, now that the the, the the film has been debuted and we get to see the story, that I've been covering combat sports for about ten years, but I haven't seen you know the footage of Cat's exhibition fight and the the footage of Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier really talking down on women's boxing. So what was it like to, you lived through that, and now to live, relive it here on screen, what was it like watching, like, Georgina's project? Oh, it was, it was, it was very emotional. 
when I was watching it just now. It was very, very emotional. But I remember I met Ali, and I've been to his house several times, and I met his daughter, and I really thought that I was the one that influenced her to get into boxing, but she said that it was her father <laughs> that influenced her to get into boxing. <laughs> you know, so, so that means he was encouraging her. I don't know what he was talking about on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was very encouraging. He was encouraging to me. Sure. Yeah. In the beginning of the movie, the, the part that really stuck out to me is when you started training and you didn't even have a locker room to change in. You, you know, the men had to leave and you had to change. Yeah. Just last year now, Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor, they headlined in Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. Last, just a couple weeks ago, Amanda, I don't know if anyone's aware, Amanda Serrano fought 12 three-minute rounds and normally women are 12 two-minute rounds, mm -hmm. 10 two-minute rounds. So mm -hmm. to go from that to now women selling out Madison Square Garden, fighting 12 three-minute rounds. What do you make of just women's combat sports as a whole from then to now? It's a, it's a big difference from what I was making. For the same type of thing that they were doing, I was making a thousand dollars. You know, not enough to live off. And now they're making millions. I'm glad that I uh, 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 participated in, in this so that they could make it. You know, pioneers are the ones that get uh, uh, it's hard for pioneer, I'll tell you that right now. It's very hard because the ones that come after is the ones that reap the benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, but I'm glad. I, I'm glad that they are reaping the benefits and that they, that means that what I did made them successful and I'm glad that I was part of it. And one more before we get to the, the creators of this, of this, uh, this film. The best parts to me, the one that stood out is at the end when you finally got your belt, the WBC mm -hmm. gave you your green belt. So. We saw the emotion on your face. So, hey, where where do you keep the belt? And uh, what was it? What was what went through your mind when we finally you finally oh got goodness. your green belt? When I got when I got my <coughs> champion, see, because I had nothing to sure. show that that I you know uh, was champion. I had nothing to show off. The women now have two or three belts. You so know, some of them have seven. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, and then I didn't even have one. And when I got it, I, I almost fainted. Uh, it didn't me up. You know, uh, uh, two people had to hold me up. My home attendant and Roy Jr. They had to hold me up and stop me from, you know, uh, completely. You know, it was, it was, it was something else. It was very emotional. Well, we're gonna pass the mic to Georgina because I do have some questions okay. for her too. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Georgina, a fantastic film, by the way. Um, yes. These guys really help me out. 100% get a guess with the rest of the group. Yeah. But like I said, I've been covering combat sports for about 10 years. I grew up in a Mexican household, so you know, like boxing is just part of our life. And a lot of this footage I've never seen. I've never heard. We've obviously heard of Lady Tiger, but obviously, like Tiger Louis said, it's she felt like they were erased. So I guess, to, A, did you know this story coming into this and, this, and what drew you to this project? So at the time, this was about four or five years ago, my job was to find ideas for a, for a sort of sporting series, mainly about corruption. Mm -hmm. And so I was just digging around, like reading every, you know, ESPN article, um, just all the articles to do with sport, and I came across the Cat Davis documentary, which is a half an hour documentary that you see kind of peppered throughout the film. And I was like, this is so interesting. I've never seen a, a sort of female boxer from that era. And I sort of started digging into it and realized there was a whole movement of female boxers from that time that had, had fought to, to change the laws and to change this rule that prohibited them from boxing professionally. So it was really that half an hour archive that led me to find all of these women. And boxing, more than I think any other sport, has massive amounts of archival footage. Not, not a lot of it in black and white and now in color. So I'm curious, when you were digging through this, is there moments that really stand out to you that like you can't believe that maybe the fans and just the audience in general have never heard of moments like this? So <coughs> I'll give you an example. You know the story of Papineta, and she talks about yep. how she's pregnant with that. So we were desperately trying to find anything to do with Papineta, you know, or oh, any wow. fights, right? And the archive producer was 
coming back to me and saying, look, I can't find anything. There's just nothing out there. Because usually what happened was you'd have, um, say, a male fight, and as soon as the women stepped into the ring, you literally saw the camera oh, turn wow. away and switch off. Wow. So just for that moment, you're like, yeah, we're about to see some women fight. The camera turned off. But with that one, it was kind of found at the end of a reel full of other things like news pieces. I don't know how it ended <coughs> up, but she, this archive producer might managed to find it, uh, B. Reed. So it was really difficult to find anything. And, you know, uh, Melissa Smith is here. She wrote the history of women's sure, rights. Yeah. I think she's like the only writer that's actually captured this part of history. So there's really not much out there. And obviously Sue Fox has collected things sure. over time. But aside from just a handful of people, there's nothing really out there. Right. And, and your collection, your personal collection is extensive, mm -hmm. as, as we all know. As Cassie knows, because she went through Oh, yeah. 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 oh no, you don't. That's oh. <laughs> a similar question. I guess, how much of the stories were you aware of in the erased history? And what, is this what drew you to the project? I wasn't aware of any of it um, <laughs> until I started talking to Georgina. And it just struck me as such an incredible opportunity to tell a story that's never been told before and that could be memorialized in history. Um, and Georgina was so passionate. Um, Marion said she's very serious, she can be, but she also is very passionate. And so I was drawn to her passion and also the opportunity in the story. But talking about archive, I mean, we were piecing together time and place and people in a way I think that I've at least never done before on a project. And trying to make sense of like wait when did this fight happen and when did that happen and it was like such a gratifying experience to actually be uncovering history while making the film so about when you found the minutes from the new york um, yeah okay so i'm a former recovering lawyer and so sometimes i get really in the weeds on documents and I'm like searching searching and then somehow reading like these thousands of pages of documents and i found the meeting minutes that said that like women are not allowed to box, wow. and then the actual conversations that we saw sure, yeah. in the film. Um, and it was so exciting. It was like, I was like screaming, and it was like probably 10 30 at night for my computer. Joe was, you know, nodding his head. He's like, What are you reading? It's so weird. You just read 600 pages in one day. Um, but it was just, it was so satisfying because it felt like we were uncovering moments like sure. every single day. Yeah, it's incredible. Well, we only have a few more minutes, so if there's any questions that the audience has, I'll point it to you. And I call, you can ask your question to the champ or any of the other people involved in the film. <laughs> Just <answer. laughs> Question, sir? Yeah, I guess um, I, I, one for Georgina and, and one for the champ. But um, Georgina, uh, you're British, right? So uh, <laughs> I know you got a great accent that sounds like, you know, uh, like Barbara Buttrick was, was, was a pioneer too, and I, I was a little surprised. Uh, I mean, was there is there any footage on her? There is. So I was really careful when we were scripting this. Uh, by scripting, I mean you know certain things that you have to kind of make sure you include in the film. Not to say that they were the first ever. Right. You know because there were one or two women before them, right? But this film is really looking at that part of history, sort of the, the, the sort of late 60s, yeah. the 70s, and the licensing, because I feel like their group was the group that really gave momentum um, and just got the, the sport going. You know? Before that, there were some incredible women that, that made history, but were kind of you know, one, another one here, another one there, they didn't really get kind of the full sport going until their generation did. But um, she was at the International Boxing Hall of Fame and she was um, inducted the same year as you, wasn't she? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That's great. 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 Any other questions from the audience? I was born in Argentina. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I just had one for, for, the, for the camp. Um, uh, I was just going to say that, that you know, we, you, you, you have it in the film, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, sold out Madison Square Garden, both women made, you know, seven-figure purses. I've been, you know, I've managed fighters for over 20 years. I've, I've been in the Garden over, you know, for the past 30 years watching fights. I've never heard the Garden so live 
it, it was just unbelievable the crowd. It was the Boxing Writers Association Fight of the Year last year. Yeah, it was the fight, and, and it delivered. Mm -hmm. It was the fight of the year. I was, wow. just, I was just thinking though, they were in your, they were in your weight class. So, <laughs> how, how, how do you think you would have done against uh, Katie Taylor and Ben Serrano fighting today? Uh, I think, I think I would have fared well. <laughs> 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 the, the, the thing is, with me, I was, uh, I was. Uh, New strategy. I would bob and weave and get out of the way of punches, and that was, you know, uh, that was just my thing. I, w I didn't have the killer instinct like some of the maybe some of the other people up here. I didn't have I didn't have that at all. I was, uh, you know, I, was, I tried to be a smart fighter. Oh, 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 and uh, I wanted to mention this. So Sari is here too. Is here Sari? You know, since I am old, I, I, I was going to say that if, if, if I forget anything, you know, you understand, and if, and if I uh, don't like a question, I'll make like I don't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you would like to say, Chef? The floor is yours. Okay, this is the end? This, we're, we're running up on time, yes. Okay. I love you, I love you, <laughs> 1,000 times.